Hey, what's up, class? Back in Inventor here um, for the Cantilever Design Project, which also won't take us that long, but um, going over um, how to do a stress analysis. Okay, so um, I'm not teaching assembly right now yet, obviously. This is a pretty simple piece, obviously. Point. Um, so I'm not teaching any of that, but um, so this is already assembled, and this can go anywhere. Okay, so it's fixed. Okay, like it will be a new project. So just teaching that test environment, stress analysis. And the key is it has to be material. I shared with you the properties for a hips material, so um, you're able to use that. Okay, but it has to have some material for it to work. Okay. First thing is you gotta fix you gotta do the constraints, okay? So we're fix constraint is what we're doing with um, the um, clamps. So it can't rotate, can't do anything, can't move in, can't move out, can't rotate. So I click here. So right now, after that, okay, um, is fixed. All of this is fixed to the table. It's fixed to each other. Okay, now we got to add the force. Okay, and we're just doing a single point force right here at the end. Um, so the thing is, if you just have one surface, it's gonna just go to the middle of the surface every time. So I had to create a surface here, so it's raised a little bit more than this, um, so I could do the point at the end. Okay. Now I have a load. I have it fixed. Okay. I'm on the other side of the screen with this. And I'm going to do start with three pounds. Wow. Okay. What's up, Nathan? I'm doing uh, a video. I'm making see. one of your videos. I'm making one of my videos. Yeah. Nice. So this is what they're going to be doing. Well, I just left the other room. Okay. So now that you have that force loaded, you hit simulate. Okay. And then you're gonna. Uh oh. I didn't put that constraint on. I screwed up. Okay, so let's try that again. Really want to see anything. Cool. Apply. Um, hit apply. Bam. Okay. Um, so simulate. Run. Perfect run. There's the actual deflection of the beam. And this is actual. A lot of times your setting is already set to times one, um, which maybe is times ten. I don't really know. But um, that's, I mean, just do actual because this thing is the plastic. It is um, going to have some flex to it. So um, I'm just having actual is good. Okay. So it um, shows the deflected shape. And the key is the stress. So we're going to be looking at the bond. This is stress. Just keep it simple here. Okay. Um, also, we'll look at first principle if you'd rather. Okay, first principle. Okay, and this is just changing what's the color scale. Okay, um, displacement. Okay, so obviously the bigger displacement is down here. But for us, the highest stress is at the fixed location. Okay, um, and this is the key number here. Okay, so we just um, learned about the stress strain diagram, and we know where the material yields, and we know now where the material um, fails. So if it's below the yield, it hasn't yielded yet, and then if it's below the fail, it hasn't failed yet. So that's how you're testing your thing. So at 1.6.5, um, I don't remember, I think, but we, get, if we can't remember, or even though I shared it with you, um, like, what is the this material? So just hit finish, oh, the strength of this material, hit finish analysis, okay, go here, there's the hips, Bring up the material properties. Everything's showing up on my other screen. The two screens are on here, okay? Right click, hips, edit. Okay, bring up the. Okay, physical, okay, mechanical, strength. So yield strength is 4.2 psi, okay? Um, which is 4. Oh, times two and three. 4.2 KSI or 4.6 KSI. Okay, 4.2, 4.6. But looking at this, we ran the stress analysis. Okay, I have to do it again. I'm sorry. It was lower. 
Okay, so it's one point seven five. Okay, um, so yeah, max stress is that um, displacement. Um, there's the x displacement, which is nothing because that's this direction. Y displacement, um, which is the big one, point three three four six inches. Okay, um, and the displacement, which is point oh four one five. Okay. Yeah, so um, once again, um, Z is in this direction if you want to look at it here. Okay, that's the basics of the stress analysis, okay, which you'll be running multiple times. So then, um, if you want to see, look at a whole more one. So I mean, it's kind of an iterative approach here. So you'd say like six points. Did you guys ever use like wooden split? I was counting, sorry. So double click this. Six. Okay. Six. Okay. Now smooth it. Run. So from three pounds to six pounds. Cool. The force. Okay. Now it's three point two three. So it's still under. Okay. And then you run the report. If you want. You more. 